Hey, here's Jan from Zovo and today I'm excited to show you a new feature we've been working on over the last few weeks. Our goal at Zovo has always been to make it as easy as possible for you to prototype and build great voice applications. And uh, during the last few months, we noticed that um, especially debugging can get quite tedious. So there's a lot of um, terminal scrolling um, back and forth involved, a lot of console locks and all of that. And so when you're building complex voice applications with a lot of states, uh, with like long user flows, this can get quite tedious. And so um, this is why uh, today we're uh, introducing the Jovo Debugger, a visual interface for you to test and debug your voice app built with Jovo. And um, to, to show you how it works, um, I just created a very, very simple Hello World app. Um, it's already uh, deployed to both Alexa and Dialogflow. And so um, take a look here, the Alexa developer console. Um, here it has the skill invocation name My Debugger. Um, I have a dialogue flow agent called debugger test, uh, which is also already connected to the actions on Google console uh, with the invocation name my debugger as well. And so usually I would go into the terminal, um, type and Jovo run to start the local development server. Um, it would spit out uh, my Jovo webhook URL, which is already added as an endpoint uh, to both platforms. And now I can start testing. So let's uh, let's try it out. Um, I'm going to get Alexa. Open my debugger. Hello, world. What's your name? My name's Jan. Hey, Jan. Nice to meet you. So as you can see here, it's uh, then we get all the logs here, which is because of the um, of the configuration here in the in the app.js. We have logging set to true, and um, but what you can see here, if there's like any problem in your in your voice app's code, it can really get complicated to find the right thing uh, in your terminal. So as you can see here, it didn't understand Yon quite well. It just said Yon, um, but it's it's just nothing to really work with when you seriously want to debug your code. And so here's what we did. Um, so if let me just restart the server again, go to uh, go to my webhook URL, copy that, and paste it into my browser. It now shows that it's connected here. So you can see um, this instance of the debugger is now connected to my code. I can see that it automatically fetched. My, my language model um, from the Jovo development server. And even if I just talk to my device, um, something shows up. Let me try it again. Alexa, open my debugger. Hello, world. What's your name? My name's John. Hey, John. Nice to meet you. So as, as you can see here, uh, while I was talking to the device, uh, I could still see the conversation here. So I have the, the my name is, is intent got triggered. This time it understood John. So you can see all the, all the information here to the left in the data window. I can see that it, the my name is, is intent was triggered. It was an intent request, no session attributes here. And the input that was understood is the name, um, which is John. And so if you want to take a deeper look here, you can see the request JSON, you can see the response JSON, uh, and so on. And even like if you want to go through the flow and to try to, um, to, to find a, a potential error, for example, for longer user flows, you can click through all of those and see changing information. So let's just get rid of that and try it again with, uh, with Google Home. OK, Google. Talk to my debugger. Sure, here's the test version of my debugger. Hello world, what's your name? My name's Jonathan. Hey Jonathan, nice to meet you. So as you can see here, the good thing about uh, Google Home is that you get the raw text so you can actually see what a person said here. 
And so, um, and so this is really helpful. And so this works for both platforms, Alexa and Google. The good thing also is, um, let me get rid of that again. You don't have to talk to a device to test it. So that's just, if you want to do some testing, if you want to test both the language model and the, you know, the flow and that works, but you can also just launch the conversation by clicking these buttons. So I can, hello world, what's your name? I can go to my name is intent here, um, set the parameters to John, for example, example run it and it works as well so uh, this is how how easy it is to to debug um, both Alexa skills and Google actions with a new visual uh, debugger built by Jovo um, we're really looking forward to seeing what you're building with it and uh, yeah let us know if you have any feedback any questions in our slack channel at jovo.tech slash slack see you soon bye